the Church of Anonymous. A very interesting concept. Uh, I was glad to see the idea come about. Um, it's an idea that has to be approached with absolute caution and due diligence. Uh, we can't lie to ourselves about this. It's a warranted idea. There's nothing wrong with preparing this because what Anonymous is, is going to go through, if it hasn't already started, is it's going to begin to trend. And trending uh, is when everybody gets in on it. And we wouldn't think of that to being really important until you realize exactly what they're fighting and how they've presented the battle, what tools they've used to fight the battle. Um, so they've done everything they could uh, to protect it. The establishment has side-railed them in a great many of ways. Uh, any kind of research will demonstrate how they've been, you know, kiboshed and how their name has been slandered and how their efforts have been ignored by a great many of people in the early days. But now in today's day, it's becoming popular. It's becoming trendful to know what Anonymous is and why they're doing it. It's worth knowing. So there's a, there's a thing here that's about to happen. When everybody knows, it, it's going to come, become very close to a religion. But if we register this ideology as a religion, many people would say, well, that's just, you know, um, doing what they do and, and it's just playing into the establishment's hands. Yes, yes, you're 100% you're, you're, you're correct. You, they, that's the plan. Because fascism, when we look at it, it's when organized religion and government team up against the people. Well, we have political people now that are, you know, our age, touch older than ourselves, maybe in their 40s and 50s, that are running for multiple political platforms in varying countries that are all anonymous-centered. The ideologies that these people hold are very similar to what the anonymous collective holds. So, if we have an actual religion designed around this ideology, something happens. You get protected. Your religious freedoms become protected. It becomes very hard. Look at what the Westboro Baptist Church has been capable of doing all in the name of a religion. Okay? Um, you begin to mobilize and organize a great group of people on the planet that already know, like we all know each other exists. We already know that we exist by the thousands, if not millions. We don't have meeting houses that we go to. And we don't have these big things that we would see in religion. But we know that the enemy is using religion against the people. Um, you're seeing it more and more in the anonymous collective, just God-fearing men and women. People who have a genuine belief in a higher power, not the Christian God, not the Muslim God, or the Jewish God, or, but the power and energies that men once called God is very well active and people are noticing it and they're feeling it and they realize there's nobody in the world really showing them what to do with these emotions and what to do with these extra bursts of energy and they're quite literally lost and nobody gives a shit. Well, the thing is, is that there's more of us than there is of them. So any kind of attempt to mobilize and organize this grouping of varying people in different parts of the world to the establishment is a very bad idea. And the worst thing that they want to see happen is a religion pop out of this, a church. Now we have to be very careful when we begin to entertain these ideologies and this, this next step because this next step is only one slip, one fall away from not being a church and being a cult. So, make no mistake, those who are going to embark on this with a serious n nature, know what it is that you're up against. Know that you need doctrines and ideologies. You need these things in order to be registered as a religion.
you need a particular level of leadership. And what's going to be funny about it is that the Church of Anonymous will probably be the last graduation that an Anon does. It's when the Anon decides, I'm going to take off my mask and I'm going to put my life on the line and show the people who I am and I'm going to go and work for the Church of Anonymous. Because the moment you get involved with the Church of Anonymous, you have to believe at some point that a particular level of transparency will be available. Um, it would be the model that every government would envy, or the people would wish that their government was like the Church of Anonymous, because everything is right there. You want to get a hold of someone? Call them, talk to them, tiny chat with them, Facebook, Twitter. I don't care, and neither do you, as long as the connect connection is made. As long as someone is talking about what it is that you need to talk about at that time. And the Church of Anonymous does not separate, you know, the banking system from our discussions. We make sure that people understand. What else happens when you have a religion? Religions have bank accounts. Religions are also non-profit organizations. Well, when the hacks are happening and these donations have to go to non-profit organizations and it's got to be done a certain way, let's create one. That's what they would do. The enemy would have done it. The enemy's already done it. They need a place to put the money. Because what would happen if every Anon in the world gave $1 a month to an international bank account and every month that money was dropped on a country that needed it. No strings attached. It's not alone.